So I just had one of my largest trades of the year trading Ethereum Classic. Um, this is a trade that I talked about a lot for our members over at, at a Skill Incubator cryptocurrency mentoring program. Um, so we, we dealt a lot with it in the trading room and also I talked about it in my uh, market report. So um, as you can see in the other video, uh, my first entry for Ethereum Classic was over here. And my thought process was, is that was this was a new market that was similar to Ethereum, but it was still kind of new. We didn't have a lot of price discovery, but compared to what the price of Ethereum was or Ether, um, you know, it was it was like just a tenth or a twelfth of the price type of thing. So I did see that it was it was dirt cheap, and I wanted to get some skin in the game. My main thing that I was looking at was the volume. I saw that at the time it had about half the volume of, of Ethereum. Um, there was a lot of dumping happening in the opening days. So what I did is I applied kind of like my win-win my accumulation strategy. So I, uh, so I bought some here um, and then when the, the markets dumped, I scaled in on a cost average and, and increased my, my position size, right? The next day, and um, the next day, the market started to go parabolic. So we had about a 350% increase in the price. Um, once I saw the market going parabolic, I started to uh, scale out 50% of my position. Now, I didn't quite nail the top. For anyone who was watching that market when it was ramping up, uh, there was a lot of slippage. And the price uh, was moving very, very fast. So I didn't quite nail the top, but I did. I did catch uh, the meat of it, and I made a, a significant amount of uh, profit on that. What I done is I took my risk capital out, as well as some profit. But I also kept about 50% on the table, just in case uh, it continued to to have legs and 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 ramp up to the upside. Um, so then after that, we had a, we had a correction. The price came down. And uh, for those of you who are in the trading room, uh, when the price came down, it, again, it was in the evening, um, I, I basically wrote in the trading room that the tides have shifted and I feel that we had hit a, a, a local bottom. So I increased my position size, so I scaled in some more. So what I did is I took the profit that I had here and I put it in and bought more, but I also loaded the boat and added some other money into it from another account. Um, I like to diversify over a, a bunch of different exchanges for my trades. That way, if one trade gets hacked, I'm not completely out of the game, right? So, um, so then the market just kind of cons uh, consolidated, did its thing, and then over the weekend, it started ramping up, and uh, it had hit our first target. We had hit, uh, we had this target over here on this uh, uh, Fib extension. And I scaled out about 25% of my position at that point. Um, I was letting the rest ride. And then once we had like a breakdown of, um, of uh, trend line here, I scaled out another 25% of my position. So what I had done was I scaled out 50% again from what I'd loaded up, up here, uh, down here. And that took out all of my risk capital again as well as locking in a whole bunch of profit right um, so the market crashed at that point um, we had kind of like a, a fake out on this breakdown of this this bigger trend line here and uh, but the market did hold up and I'm, I'm just letting 50% ride right now um, and, and being patient with it right uh, the reason why I'm letting 50% ride is because you know sometimes when a larger trend when a larger trend um, takes place, like if you ever look at Ethereum, for example, and you look at its overall six month trend, um, you know, it had a lot of major corrections along the way. Um, and some of those corrections may have seemed bearish at the time. We even had some, you know, uh, head and shoulder reversal patterns, stuff like that. But it just kept on breaking out to the upside and kind of doubling up on price, right? So, you know, had anybody gone all out on Ethereum um, early on in the game and, and taken, all the profit off the table type of thing then they would have missed some of the bigger moves unless they unless they just kind of scaled in on the breakouts at each level up so I'm being patient with this and now that I've taken out all my risk capital and I've locked in a bunch of profit 
the markets could go up, they could go down, they could go sideways, spirals, whatever. Um, I'm I'm happy because I'm just it's all profit now. It's just play money, so I can uh, I can afford to be patient with this market and uh, and hold it, even if uh, even if that requires holding it over the course of a few months. Um, as long as the volume stays high, then it does seem somewhat bullish to me. Um, right now, you know, on Poloniex, the volume is still about double what it is for Ethereum. So, um, you know, I, I've been using the volume as one of my, my main indicators in this uh, or indications that uh, the market was, was very bullish. So this definitely was uh, one of my bigger trades of the year. Um, and you know I don't I don't always nail every single trade with with this level of of you know almost flawless execution right I mean I was I basically kind of nailed this one out of the park this is I consider this kind of like uh, one of my grand slam trades type of thing uh, because a real trend ensued right like it's this isn't like some illiquid altcoin that just has these that you can make a little money off of some parabolic pumps you know um, this this was actually like a real trend with real volume and liquidity and that's why I, I loaded the boat and, and kind of swinged hard and uh, scaled in and out at various different levels right but you know not every not every trade is like that so anyways this is just a recap of, um, of how I've been trading Ethereum Classic um, I'm still currently in a trade with Ethereum Classic and again I'm, I'm, I'm more than fine with the price going up or down at this point because it's all just uh, profit so um, feel free to subscribe if you like the video also feel free to uh, check out our members area if you want to join a team of professional tr uh, cryptocurrency traders take care and uh, see you in the next video cheers